amazing uh, <laughs> how close this camera is. This is in, in my view finder on my iPad. Um, this camera looks like it is is like three or like six feet away, but it is really just a foot or two in front of this box. So I thought I would do an, an unboxing of the Go. This is an Oculus Go 64 gigabyte. I'm using a Lenovo um, Mirage uh, camera here. Um, that is, uh, people say Mirage, you mean the headset? No, this is a camera, it's called a Mirage. Um, maybe I have that wrong, maybe it's called a Daydream because it says it's Daydream ready, but I think that's Google Daydream that's ready for that. Um, but it is the Lenovo Mirage camera. They sell for 260 off of Amazon. Anyhow, here goes the unboxing. And you, all I did was take the plastic off and what, and this is how you unbox it. Pop, oh, come on. And it, see it says from Facebook, Oculus is owned by Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook. So, the chances of it going away, pretty slim. And, uh... You should not expose this to sunlight. So this must remain indoors. The sunlight will destroy the screens because these are Fresnel lenses on the on these uh, the they're Fresnels. Um, you know what a Fresnel is? That's the kind of lens you use to bake food in the in the wild. Those big old lenses that have those grooves around them that they're they're like sheets of of plastic. And they got little grooves all the all the way as uh, a circular grooves. That's a Fresnel lens. This is a Fresnel lens. And if you were to expose it to sunlight, it would burn a hole in your screen. So you shouldn't expose these to sunlight. That's what those little indicators are saying. And uh, you have to. From the get-go, you have to take these plastic things off. If you're wanting to, I me mean, uh, think this is how this works. You have to pop off the plastic, these plastic things. And it looks like that. You pop those off. You take this thing off. Like that. And then I think you put the plastic things back inside. Or you, you put it, there's a, a thing that you have to take out of here. And you stick it around the thing here you put it there and the little plastic things go into the holes so I'm going to do that
So this uh, this is a way to do it. Then you pop this sucker back on. Put that back on there. This is supposed to make it easier for glasses to go on. So I have to find which one goes with what. Putting the rims back on. Okay. And then you put these plastic things back on over the uh, cover and uh, you know what? I don't think I did that in my original in my original setup, but that's what you're supposed to do. They're, they're supposed to fit on over that cover and uh, that this little thing around here this will make it easier um, for the glasses to remain uh, in intact or uh, I don't know what the I don't know what it does but they tell you to do it um, if you want to use glasses with the device you have to put that little rim on there and then uh, you pull out these there's some some stuff here this it takes a USB C cable and a type C and I think this is a cleaning cloth I don't think I remember getting that and your power adapter and a battery for your thing here. This thing has a lanyard, and I could never figure out how to get this to work. How I did it on mine is I suspended it with the rubber bands because um, it broke on me. The, so what I have is I, I take rubber, rubber bands and run them through. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to stick uh, like a, a uh, lanyard onto this thing and and uh, bring the the cup thing over it and snap it on and then you have this thing that you can wear around your wrist whenever you're holding this uh, this thing um, so and it should have a little bit of power in it when you start it up when it starts up, the first thing it's going to want to do is connect to your Wi-Fi. And uh, it might, I think they might require you to get a Oculus cell phone app and on your cell phone access your Oculus um, so that you can uh, program it to work. So I've forgotten the whole the whole gist of what you need to do I have I my previous version of this that I got this is what it looks like new this is what it looks like after about a month's worth of use and it starts to smell and, and I'm hoping that they will uh, get uh, make it so that you can get more of these foam rubber things because I can see this thing 
uh, wearing out after a while. But uh, yeah, let's see. So what I do, how do I do this? I think this is how they want me to do it, is to do that. Then, so to run the cable through the hole and this and through that. You can see what I'm doing and pop this on like that. And this is your, uh, this is what you're put around your wrist whenever you're uh, using the device. Let me pull the plastic off of that. And this this is your mouse controller inside the 3D space. Um, and uh, it has complete 360 degree uh, range inside of Alt-VR, uh, which is Microsoft's um, or, uh, 3D VR space. Um, that is your hand and when you start throwing basketballs uh, you're going to fail at throwing a lot of basketballs and 